Hello everyone, this is M22 Frogger. And I'm making this video because I had read something that Reese Take Shot Action had posted on a page of his on Facebook. And it really spoke a lot to me. And uh, I want to make this video dedicated to him and talk a little bit about him. You know, how I met him, uh, how I feel about him as not only as a YouTube individual that I'm a fan of, but also as a friend of his. I'm going to read off what he had wrote, and then I'm going to say a couple of words based on that. To all those I respect out there, that's everyone reading this, and many, many more. I've had some time to go out and think, and I'm going to, to be working on a video in two or three hours. I'm not sure how long this video will take to create and export, or how long this video will go on for. This journey we've had been on is fantastic. I want you all to know, I want you all to know that. We will continue this journey for as long as I am in existence, and for as long as I have your support. This video may possibly be one of the most fundamental videos or moments in Take Shot Action history. There's only, there's nobody out there I would rather share this all with than all of you. My appreciation holds no bounds. I had liked that status post and mentioned a few words in there, but you know, instead of rereading off what I had wrote, I, I want to just talk a little bit about you know how I you know met him and what we did with each other back and forth and how I feel about where he is in the community right now and how I feel you know or where he's gonna go I uh, I met Reese back when I think he had about 230 subscribers and I had about maybe a hundred more than him and you know I was like alright well you know he's a relatively new face I think I haven't seen him really before none of us really, you know, knew anything on him, and then you know he sort of became a, you know, a big name once he made uh, the Onision video, his first Onision video. Then we sort of all just sort of found him, and when I first met him, you know, he just messaged me out of the blue and said he wanted to create a, um, maybe a little like group in the anti Onision community, and he was going to have me, him, and a couple other names. You know, and as far as I can tell, that whole idea sort of just got dropped, like it never, you know, truly happened. But it was going to be me leading it, and I was like, no, 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 no. You know, I would like to, but I want you to be on sort of an equal level of this, and, you know, we just sort of kept talking about it, and then one thing led to another, and we just sort of, you know, didn't really make an organized group. Now it's just sort of like a friend circle between people. It's not really a group, per se, but it is a group, and it's really cool because there's a lot of really big names that, you know, a lot of names that we know of, and, you know, since always, really, in the Antonisa community mixed with other ranting community, individuals that sort of came towards each other and said, hey, I like what you do, hey, I like what you do too, and we just sort of became a big family. You know, we might have our bickerings here and there. You know, like mine bickering with Skull Ripper, for example. You know, we bicker. But ultimately, we can make up, and it's no big deal. But, um... You know, I met him when he had about, you know, 230 subscribers. And I watched a few of his videos, and I knew instantaneously. You know, whether he believes me or not, you know, I knew instantaneously he was going to be going somewhere big. And I knew he was going to be going to places where... <laughs> I've only dreamed about going, 
literally have had dreams waking up and having about a thousand subscribers and goes, oh shit, you know? And he had quite a lot of oh shit moments. You know, waking up, waking up one day checking his, you know, his YouTube and seeing he went up about two, three hundred subscribers the first time it happened and then, you know, he Skype messaged me and said, oh my god, it's so cool. Like, I know, right? You know, it is pretty cool. But, you know, and I was really proud of him. And, you know, slowly but surely, he kept building up and building up and building up. And then I had my debate with Greg. And, you know, you can talk to Take Shot about this to this day. Since the debate happened, he might... People always say, man, James had probably the, uh... The, um... Shortest of debates with Onision. And then, you know, Take Shot will always be right there next to me and go, man, yeah, but he still kicked his ass within, within the 20 or 30 minutes. You know? And over the course of his popularity growing, you know, I gave him pointers on uh, video, su video suggestions, topic suggestions, I taught him, I taught him how to tag properly so people would know to come over, and he also gave me pointers on what he learned throughout the video making process, uh, he uh, designed my channel art, my um, cover, and at one point my last channel, he was even the thumbnail art. Uh, you know, he designed all that, and he's really, really talented, you know, very brilliant at it, and he, he'll, he'll still say it's a very easy process to do to make the, uh, the cover arts, but it's something I don't know how to do. I'm not 100% tech savvy. I'm artistic, but it's with, like, freehand. You know, I'm not computer, uh, artistic. But, you know, He, he's definitely really good in many, many different fields. And then, you know, we all sort of came together when it was his time to shine in the uh, in his debate with Onision. And a few other names were there, you know. We were all sort of helping at each other. And even though that Greg put in a person to spy on us in our Google Hangouts and our Skype calls, I was there for the Skype calls. I'm not going to mention who the hell it was. It's done and over with someone tried to get in involved, because Greg said it himself, you know, actually, technically, I was at a disadvantage when I was with Stevie, because people were saying he was at a disadvantage, uh, I was at a disadvantage because I didn't know what the questions were, and I'm like, that's kind of the, a point of a debate, you're not supposed to be prepared yourself, people that are going in there to question you have to be more prepared, you should know the answers yourself, you know, so we gave him everything we could. I did as much as I could. I didn't really have a lot of crap 100% on Greg at the time. More people more, had more so than him just because how they made videos, they would have to download some of his videos, edit over it, so they don't get like DMCA'd and copyrighted and shit. You know, and they had original uh, files of a lot of incriminating shit that Greg had once deleted. And, you know, everyone came together and helped them out. And after that, I, I think it was an hour-long debate. You know, time went by, day, two days went by. And he went up from, like, I think he had, what, what 800? I think he had about 800 subscribers when he hit the debate. I, I, I know he didn't clear 1,000 yet. I mean, he might have been a little bit lower than 800. And then within, like, a day or two, he shot right up. And Honestly, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was honestly the coolest thing, you know, because I, 230, you know, next to how many he has now, you know, it's kind of, is a little low, you know, but 230, it's still a lot of people that are watching, especially they're diligent people, you know. I mean, I don't have that many right now. I mean, I used to have 700, but thanks to him, you know, when my account got terminated, <coughs> you know, he helped me out, <coughs> and I shot up, and my subs are, you know, very diligent, very good, everybody's been very good to me, you know, with helping me out, and between him, Stevie, don't stand so close to me, you know, I wouldn't have made such a, you know, awesome comeback, but especially because of Take Shot, and... 
you know, and then watching where he, you know, where he went from when I met him when he didn't have even close to what he has now, I was so proud of him. And I know for a fact where he's going right now, he's going to be going on to really big and awesome things. I bet you that. I, Reese, you're really worried about somebody possibly flagging your shit down and taking you down. I mean, you're, he's not afraid. One interesting quality I've found out about him is that he doesn't feel nervousness. And I know that sounds kind of silly because you think everybody feels nervousness. He actually doesn't feel nervousness. I don't get it. But, you know, he's always reminding people, hey, you know, visit my Facebook page because he ain't going to remake a Facebook and he ain't going to remake a YouTube. You know, I guess he probably feels in one way or another it would be almost like an injustice to his fans. I could be wrong on that. I don't think it would be at all. Because they're probably going to wonder where the fuck he is. <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean, if I were him, I would make a new account if that were to unfortunately happen. But so many people would be backing you up if you got taken down. You, you thought that when I got taken down, I caused an uproar. I was on... Uh... Onision Drama Tumblr, the uh, Exposing Onision Tumblr, I was on Don't Stand So Close To Me's website, I was on Some Guy 27s fan page on Facebook, he promoted, uh, Take Shot promoted me in a video, you know, it's a unified teamwork, and it just seemed like everybody went, what the fuck, you know, you thought mine was big? His would be a real serious uproar if he got taken down, and it would be more than likely from false reasons. And, <clears throat> not to get into my shit, that's over and done with, and yeah, I bounce back with the help of, you know, a lot of really awesome friends. But, you know, you, you, you're a little bit maybe slightly nervous about that, and honestly, from where you're going, you know, where you're going right now, you don't have to worry about that. You'll, you're going to be just fine, in my opinion. And I think that where you're aiming at, in terms of where you're going in the YouTube community, in the ranting community, whether it be the regular ranting community, or the Onision community, or whatever community, you're going places, man. You are going places with what you do. Don't ever give up on anything. You have everything going for you right now in terms of fan loyalty, friend loyalty, everything. The views are great, you know, I'm sure he makes, you know, I'm pretty sure he, he monetizes videos. The money's, uh, you can, you know, that's, that's another story. This man, when it comes to making videos, he's dedicated to his fans. Dedicated. And he's a very genuine friend. He's a very genuine individual. I have seriously never met a more friendly, approachable, actual person before. I mean, I'm friends with everybody, essentially, in the community. But honestly, out of all of them, you are seriously the nicest one. Because he said, you know, even if I had as many subscribers as PewDiePie, direct quote, maybe word change here or there, but basically it's the gist of this. I could have as many subscribers as PewDiePie being number one on YouTube, but I'll still befriend somebody that has 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 subscribers, because they're no different than me. He views everybody on an equal level. Doesn't matter if you're up here in subs or down here in subs. They're all the same, man. And that's what I dig in an individual. Not believing for a split second that they're better than you, or any lower. You are their equal, no matter what. And that's a very noble quality in somebody that has that many subscribers. I'm sure there's many of others that have more so than you, but honest to God, mate, You have way more respect 
notoriety, credibility, then, you know, dare I drop his name Repsion. You know, you got way more credibility than that. It's not super about subscribers or view counts. It's about being the most honest, humble individual. It's about being the most credible individual, the most genuine, giving, caring individual. In my mind, that's what makes somebody a very successful YouTuber. It's not only about doing everything awesome, you know, making things flashy, this, that, the third, oh, look at that, it's interesting, it captivates. That, that brings in a lot of people. But what really brings in a lot of people, real people, people that recognize dignity, people that recognize the person's personality through their videos. You can have as many flashing lights as you want. You can have as many let's plays as you want, and as many funny jokes as you want, any bubbly personality, most amazing tags, fucking titles, whatever. What really brings in the people is being honest, credible, noble, humble, a lot of dignity, <laughs> just being all around a good guy, and have all these amazing traits coming together. That brings in the real subscribers. That brings real friendships together. That brings in real, actual videos. And just, just awesome. It's a lot better. And it's just a more real channel when you go about it like that. And that's exactly what he's doing. And that's exactly where he's going with it. He ain't changing nothing. He doesn't need to. He can't fix what isn't broken. He ain't broken. And I really cannot wait to see where you go with your channel, man. And honestly, I feel very fortunate, very fortunate that I can see the metamorphosis of this account. Going from 230 subs and lower to being <laughs> up here. But seeing you never change. The more subs you get, you still look at yourself as an uneven playing field as the rest of us. And that's where he's going with that. He's a very genuine soul. I feel very fortunate to have seen that happen. <laughs> and I also feel very fortunate to not just state that we're fans of each other and that's it. Oh, I like your video, I'll, I'll click like, or I'll write a comment, you know, whatever. Favorite his video. Favorite's mine. No. It's more than that. I feel very fortunate right now that I could legitimately call him my friend. That's one of the best things of all, is that I'm friends with such a great person. <laughs> anyway, it's Fem22 Frogger. I love you, Reese. And I can't wait to see where your channel's going, man. Take it easy, bro. And in M22 fashion, I'm going out for a cigarette, and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> have a good, well, it's probably daytime over there, but have a good day, man. I'm going to have a good night. See you, man. <laughs>